Hello everyone, welcome to Geetam's Inside Prep series. I'm Surya Madnala, senior trainer from Geetam University. In this video, we will discuss on percentages, which is considered to be the most important topic. I would rather say it as an operator, an operator, not as a topic. By the end of this video, we, you will be able to define percentage, understand the concept of percentages, and we'll be able to solve a few questions based on percentages. So, when it comes to percent, if I see the word itself is a self-explanatory for us. We talk on percent on every hundred. So if you if you divide the word percent into two words, say percent, we get the meaning of it out of every hundred. One out of every hundred. But what exactly we need to do when we do percentage? As discussed, it's an operator. So this operator is basically used to compare two quantities. Comparing two quantities in terms of percentage. Comparing two quantities. This is what the actual task of this operator is all about. But when we compare two quantities, what is the two important aspects we look into? One, we need to know what is to be compared. One, we need to know what is to be compared, what is to be compared. The other one is with which it has to be compared, with which it has to be compared, which is considered to be 100 percentage, which is considered to be 100 percentage. Rest, if we apply the proven technique called chain rule, we get the things done more easily. So I've got a few questions for you. Say, if I want to calculate 40% of 500, if I want to calculate 40% of 500, now I know that 500 is the value which I have to compare with. So 500 is considered to be 100%. What exactly I need to compare 40% of the value? So 40% is how much? Now as applied here, chain rule, we will get our answer. If 100% is 500 and 40% is how much, I would definitely say it will be less than 500. So the answer should be 40 by 100 into 500. And you get your result to be 200. The same way if I do this one, if 20% of a number is 36, so they say that 20% of a number is 36, which again, we have discussed the same question in the chain rule. 50% of that number is how much? So this is again chain rule. So you are just trying to apply chain rule. We get, it will be more than 36. So the answer is 50 by 20 into 36. So you get 18 and then zero, this zero reduces, you get 90. So this is how we may apply chain rule in calculating percentage. As discussed while we were understanding chain rule, Discuss there that the, the application of chain rule can be brought in any topic when we solve question. Now let us see with few questions on percentage. Here is the question saying that 5 kg of metal A. So the weight of metal A used here is 5 kg. Metal B, we have taken 20 kg, are mixed. When two metals are mixed, then it took form to be a lie. Then it is formed to be an alloy. So analog is nothing but the formation of two metals here, metal A and metal B. Now the question says that the percentage of metal A in the alloy is, the percentage of metal A in the alloy is. So the alloy is of how much weight? The alloy is of how much weight? We have metal A mixed with metal B. So we have five kgs here, 20 kgs here. So I get 25 so the alloy weight, alloy weight is 25 kgs. Now, what is that they're asking? They're asking to compare metal A weight with the alloy weight. They're asking to compare a metal A weight with the weight of alloy. So metal, so I am I'm knowing this part with, with alloy, with alloy. So that does mean that alloy weight is supposed to be considered as 100% here. And metal A is how much percentage? Again, if I apply chain rule, it will be definitely less than 100%. So 
So my answer comes to be 5825 into 100. So that leads to 20 percentage. See, this is an answer. Now, what if I change the question in this way? The info being same, but this time the question is metal A in the alloy is what percentage of metal B? Now, see, they're asking us metal A in the alloy. So, this is what has to be compared to be compared with, with, with metal B. So, you know, metal B is what? Metal B, metal B of 20 kgs, which is considered to be 100 percentage, as we discussed in this part of the slide. So, the one which we compare with is always considered to be 100 percentage. The one which we have to compare is the one which we need to require, to require the terms of percentage. So, when I go with this question, I know that metal B is 20 kg. So I'm comparing with metal B. Whose value I'm comparing? Metal A's value. 5 kg I'm comparing with metal B's value. So this is what the expression comes to be. It will be definitely less than 100 percentage. So if it is less than 100 percentage, 5 by 20 into 100. So this is 4 and then this is 25. So this is 25 percentage. What if, what if we change the question in this way by saying that by what percentage is weight of metal A in the alloy is lighter than metal B? The question, the information remains same. Metal A of 5 kg, metal B of 20 kg are mixed to form an alloy. By what percentage is weight of metal A? So this is what has to be compared. This is what has to be compared. This is what has to be compared in the alloy is lighter than, no, actually the metal A is how much lighter? So now if I read the complete sentence till here, I say this is what has to be compared. Compared with what? Lighter than metal B, with metal B. It's not this which we have to compare. Since they have used word for lighter here, so lighter what of metal A? So lighter than metal B, okay? Metal A, lighter than metal B. So to be compared, to be compared, how much lighter it is? If I see 15 kgs, it is lighter, okay? A minus B, okay, sorry, B minus A. 15 kgs, it is lighter than B. But comparing with, comparing with what? B, which is of 20 kgs. So if this is 100 percentage, I know that width is always 100 percentage. So this is how much? Definitely less than 100 percentage. So the answer is 15 by 20 into 100. 75 percent. Now let us see the same question in a reverse order. Okay, 5 kg of metal A, 20 kg of metal B are mixed, the same information. By what percentage of is weight of metal A? Here it should be metal A. In the alloy is heavier. Oh, sorry. I would say this is right. This is right. Metal B in the alloy is heavier than metal A. Is heavier than metal A. So this is how the question has to be. I erase this part and reframe it. So percentage is, by what percentage is weight of metal B in the alloy is heavier. This is to be compared than with metal A, then metal A. So this is width which we have to compare. So how much heavier is it? I see 15 kgs, it is heavier. Okay, this is has to be compared with metal A, 5 kgs. This is 100 percentage as we discussed. Width is always 100 percentage. So in this case, 
in this case. In the previous case, when we were discussing, we were discussing on this part, metal A being lighter than metal B, I got 75 percentage. But in reverse order, doesn't mean that it will be same. This time, you'll get more than 100 percentage. So your answer is 15 by 5 into 100. So you get answer to be 300 percentage. So it is not the same if you say check in either ways. The previous case, we got 75 percentage. In this case, we get 300 percentage. So this is a difference which we need to observe when we calculate the percentage. We have to focus more on the part which have to be compared and with which we have to compare it. If we can identify these two aspects, these two concerns, definitely we can solve the question easily. Now we can see with other questions, it's not necessarily when we solve the questions of percentage, it will be always asked in terms of percentage. They may ask you in the number as well to identify the total number as given in this question. Here they say that 76 percentage of students in the school are boys. If the number of girls is 204, then the total number of students is okay. So I have already given that 76 percentage are boys and girls in which, in which, oh no, there's given that 76 percentage are only boys. So that does mean that out of 100 percentage of the students in the class, in the school, that is boys and girls, 76 are boys. So the rest 24 percentage are no one but girls. Girls. Now, this 24 percentage is given as a value 204, is given as a value 204. The question says the total number of students. So what is the total number of students? Again, if we apply the chain rule here, 100 percentage is how much if we have got 20 percent, 24 percentage to be 204? If we have 24 percentage is to be 204. So we get uh, it will be definitely more than 204. So answer is 100 divided by 224 into 204. Seventeen fifties, you have got eight fifty students. So all together we get eight fifty students in this. Let's see one more question of a similar type, or maybe a different type. Okay. So what is this question? Saying that two candidates fought an election, one of them got sixty-two percentage of votes and one by four thirty-two votes. Total number of votes polled E. So the question says that there are two candidates, candidate one, candidate two, participating in an election. One of them got 62 percentage. So this is an obvious thing that the other gets 38 percentage of votes if neither of votes was invalid. Since they have not given any condition of invalid votes, so we will definitely take that all the votes are considered to be valid. So when it is valid, so the other candidate gets 38 percentage votes. Now I see that the candidate won by the candidate two, the candidate one who has won over the candidate two has won by 24 percentage of votes, the difference of 62 and 38, in which this 24 percentage is nothing but 432. So they're asking the total number of votes pulled is. So now we know that 24 percentage is 432 and then we are asking, they're asking us about the 100 percentage value. So this is an easy one to go with by applying the chain rule. If 24, 24 percentage makes 432, 100 percentage is definitely more than 432. So if it is more than 432, I get 24 by 100 into 432. Oh, sorry, 100 by 24 into 432. So I, I Change the expression. So 
So this is 12, 12 twos, 12, six, seven, and then you have got 15. Yeah. So we get how much? 30, 300 and, okay, let me do the calculation once again. 100 by 24 into 432. 12 twos, 12 threes, and seven, yeah. So if I see this one, this is 50, then we get go for 1850 volts. So total number of volts hold are, but this is six. So we get 1800 volts. That becomes more easy for us by applying chain rule. So if you see this video by from the beginning, you will understand the whole concept of percentage. I might have given more brief on the first four questions while we are solving how the percentage keeps changing when the question changes. Initially, we worked on identifying metal A in the alloy, the percentage of metal A in the alloy, we got it 20 percentage. Then we worked metal A as what percentage of metal B, we got 25 percentage. Then we worked by what percentage is metal A lighter than metal B, we got 75 percentage. And then we worked in the reverse order Metal B is being heavier than metal A by what percentage? We got 300 percentage. See, the percentage got changed when the question got changed. So it's all about identifying what is to be compared with which it has to be compared. By this, I call upon the session video. Thank you, guys.